Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, 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 good morning. Peace. Word up, word up, word up. Today I'm going to demonstrate the funky chicken. The funky chicken became very, very popular in the late 60s, early 70s. And it's a dance step that I've been accepted or put inside of Don Camel's locking dance. This is why the funky chicken has been accepted inside of Don Camel's locking dance. It's simple. Don Camel, he did not know how to do the funky chicken at first. There we go. Simple crash. <laughs> no scissors. Because it has been accepted inside of the locking community, because it's a bit of a funky dance has a lot of funk or groove unto the dance. Now I'm going to demonstrate it slowly. First the upper torso of the funky chicken. Wing flapping. There we go. Now I'm going to take the wing flapping and trot run with it. So what we're going to have is the chicken run. Now the lower torso of the funky chicken. Tussle, we're going to raise up on the toes and we're going to bring the knees together and separate them. Bring the knees together and separate them. Or are we going to do what? We're going to what? Knock knee. On toes, knock knee. At the same time we're going to knock knee, we're going to take the hands and cross them. Back and forward, cross them. Now I'm going to knock knee at the same time. For a more advanced funky chicken, I'm simply going to take the wing flapping around the world. Or the wing flap around the world. Here we go. At normal speed. The advanced version. Taking the wing flapping around the world. Here we go. That was Locking Tutorial, The Funky Chicken, by Terrence Wordrider McGee.